In this question, we are selecting three numbers with replacement, and we want to determine the probability that the three numbers are selected in ascending order. We will solve this question in two ways. For the first solution, let's begin by determining the total number of outcomes of this experiment. To do this, we will take the task of selecting three numbers and break it into stages. One stage is selecting the first number, w, one stage is selecting the second number, x, and another stage is selecting the third number, y. When it comes to selecting the first number, there are 10 ways to accomplish this stage, since there are 10 numbers from which to choose. Next, since we are replacing the numbers after each selection, there are still 10 ways to select the second number and 10 ways to select the third number. By the fundamental counting principle, we can multiply each stage to see that there are 1,000 possible outcomes here. Now, of these 1,000 possible outcomes, how many are such that the three numbers are selected in ascending order? Well, first we should recognize that in order for the second number to be greater than the first number and the third number to be greater than the second number, all three numbers must be different. So let's determine the number of ways we can select three numbers such that they are all different. To do this, we will once again take the task of selecting three numbers and break it into stages. When it comes to selecting the first number, there are 10 ways to accomplish this stage. Next, since the second number must be different from the first number, there are 9 ways to select the second number. And finally, once the first two numbers have been selected, there are 8 ways to select the third number such that it is different from the first and second numbers. Here, when we apply the fundamental counting principle, we can see that there are 720 outcomes where the three selected numbers are different. Now, of these 720 outcomes, how many are such that the three numbers are in ascending order? To answer this, let's consider one possible outcome where the first number selected is 6, the next number is 2, and the third number is 7. Now, notice that we can take these three different numbers and arrange them in three factorial, or six, different ways. So we can take each set of three different numbers and arrange them in six different ways. Now notice that of these six different arrangements, only one is such that the three numbers are in ascending order. So we can conclude that one out of six arrangements of three different numbers, it's such that the three numbers are in ascending order. Now we already determined that there are 720 outcomes where the three numbers are different. And we now know that one sixth of these outcomes are such that the three numbers are in ascending order. So the total number of outcomes where the three numbers are in ascending order will be equal to 720 divided by 6, which equals 120. This means our probability equals 120, the number of outcomes where the selected numbers are in ascending order, divided by 1000, the total number of outcomes. This equals 0 0.12, so the probability is 0 0.12 that the three numbers will be selected in ascending order. Now that was the first solution. Here's another way to tackle this question. Let's determine the total number of ways in which three numbers can be selected in ascending order. To begin, here are the 10 numbers in our set. Notice that if we cross out seven of these numbers, we are left with three numbers, and these three numbers are arranged in ascending order. The three remaining numbers here correspond to the outcome where two is selected first, then six, and then seven. Here's another example. If we cross out these seven numbers, the remaining numbers correspond to the outcome 0, then 4, then 7. Next, if we cross out these seven numbers, the remaining numbers correspond to the outcome 1, then 3, then 4. As you can see, each time we cross out seven numbers, the remaining three numbers are arranged in ascending order. So our question now becomes, in how many ways can we cross out seven of the ten numbers? Well, since the order in which we cross out the numbers does not matter, this is a combination question. There are 10 numbers and we must choose 7 of them to cross out. This can be accomplished in 10 choose 7 ways. Now, when we apply the combination formula, we see that 10 choose 7 evaluates to be 120. So there are 120 outcomes where the three numbers are selected in ascending order. This means our probability is 120 over 1000, which still equals 0 0.12.